Hey guys, got a 34060 cat in the shop here right now. We're gonna do a counterboard cut on it. So stick around and see how we do it. You can see up close here on the deck, you can see the old, right here you can see it's worn in. And on the same cylinder the other side, there's no ledge there. A little bit of a ledge, but not like this. These cylinders, when we first took it apart, all measured out about two, three thou, three thou protrusion and very crooked too, the ones, uh, all of this side of the block were all low, especially the back two were very low. They were sitting at about a zero or even maybe a negative. So we're gonna have to cut this thing, get them up to where they need to be, and then we're not gonna have any more head gasket issues in the future. All right, so we got the liner installed. We have the stainless shim underneath the liner. Spacer deck's installed. That's a new spacer deck with the new gasket underneath. Just gonna clamp it down now, and then we'll get our dial gauge and do a measurement on that. Once we know that measurement, then we can decide how much we are gonna cut out of it to get our eighth thou height. It's almost like the bank. Yeah. All right, so here on the far side, we're seeing 33 here, we're seeing 32 right here, and we're seeing 31 right here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a preliminary cut at 10 thou, get the whole thing straight and sitting square, and then we'll measure it one more time with the dial gauge, and then we'll come back and do a final cut and get that proper height. That's just gonna ensure that we end up measuring and cutting a straight square ledge for that cylinder to sit on. Here's the tool we'll be using to cut. It's the same tool that we use for the Cummins engines. You just have to swap out the cutter head. This one here is the Cummins one. It's long extended because it goes way down into the bore. The cat one is just a small little guy because it cuts right at the top of the deck surface there. So we'll get this thing situated on top there. We'll get it clamped down and show you how the cut goes. Get a little foam plug in there. It keeps all the debris from getting onto the crankshaft. And the tool just sits on top like this and use a couple of head bolts to clamp it down. All right, got everything set up here. I got a couple shims in it right now just to lift the uh, cutter head off of the deck. And before we torque everything down, just give it a couple spins backwards and that just centers the tool into the bore. And then we'll go ahead and torque the two uh, holding bolts down and then we can uh, put our proper shims in and cut it down for that first initial cut. Here's two shims we're gonna use. We're gonna do a first cut of 14 thou, so we put a 10 and a four in there. Right now the cutter head's just sitting down on the deck surface. So all we do is just lift that little guy up, you know, put the shims in there, set it down. Then you take the shims out and then that way you have that 14 gap. So as it cuts down, it's gonna stop when it hits that 14 thou. So we'll go ahead and cut this now and then we're gonna put everything back together, remeasure, and then there'll be one more cut before we get our final measurement. This is probably just gonna go terrible, but really nice. Here's the liners we're using, they're 32 thou. They're from PAI. You can see them there. That sits right underneath that lip right there on the top of the liner. And that sits how high the protrusion is. So one side of the shim has a bit of a chamfer on it. You wanna make sure that chamfer is facing down against that ledge where we just cut. That'll center the shim. Put the liner in, and then we'll get our gasket and our spacer deck back on, clamp it down, do another measurement, and then we'll have our final cut. Oh, wait. There you go. That looks good, eh? Here you can see up close the liner installed with the shim underneath. That's raising it up that little bit. 
Let's get installed. Then just make sure it's cleaned off, and then we give her another clamp. All right, with everything clapped back into place, you can see our measurement there is right at 18 thou. Should be able to take another 10 out of this and then we'll be sitting eight high. All right, so we got our set back up there, got the shims in so we can do the center and just get the tool torqued down again. So now, like we said before, we're sitting at that 18 thou for height and we want to be at eight. So we're going to cut 10 thou out now. Take our 10 thou shim, put it under there, down on that. Get it good and tight. Pull it out and we're ready to cut. Looks nice. All right, with the final clamp or the with the final cut down, we got our clamp back down again. Gasket and spacer deck installed. Zeroing back just under the zero, so pretty well bang on eight thou. That's going to give our head gasket a nice squish. That's where it rides on. So we're going to go ahead now with the machine or with the tool set up. We can just go ahead and clamp it onto each cylinder, cut all the rest, and they're all going to be the same. And then we can put this thing back together and kick it out of here. All right, so you can see we got them all cut now. Everything went really smooth. Cuts all went very good. Everything looks really good here. So this thing's ready to be assembled and get back on the road. It's pretty much going to wrap it up for this video. So thanks for watching.